Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to Israeli Air Force's Rank 5 Overview and Guide. As you know from the rank reviews, we will be taking a look at all the planes in Rank 5 Israeli. I will go through all the details with you through the hangar, give you an idea of the planes and in-flight footage giving you the weaknesses, the strengths, the flight style and all the jazz. Everything you need to know to make the right decisions in this tree and get you through it as soon as possible without making any mistakes. At the end of the video there will be a guide and tip section in which I will give you tips on talismans, what you should buy, what you should definitely leave alone and what is the best for both fighter pilots, attackers and bomber pilots, whatever you might prefer. So let's go Israeli rank 5, I'm stoked, let's have a look at them. Ah, here we go with the first fighter in the main fighter line for the Israeli. The uh, Meteor NF-13, uh, Night Fighter, it stands for 7.7 .7 battle rating. She sits right here in rank 5. This is a very nice plane with radar, oh yes. She has a little bit of, well actually quite good two steel plates with a bulletproof glass here that is very nice. She has the um, guns in the wings, this can be a little bit uh, offsetting in jets, you really want to have centrally mounted uh, guns. Of course you have fuel tanks over here and you have the two engines which gives you a little bit more survivability so there is that. You don't have any bomb loads, you've got just the guns, uh, that is basically it for the rest. He does the radar job with, uh, with our little radar here. Very nice, big plane though, so uh, let's have a look at her. Ah, the Meteor NF-13, the night fighter version with a big coney nose with a radar in it. And um, yeah, for the rest it's a Meteor man, it's a Meteor, 7.7 .7 battle rating for this plane. What are the strings in this meteor? She looks big, doesn't it? Yeah, she's definitely got a unique look when it comes to meteors. But uh, the strings are the turn time. It has the maneuverability of the meteors. Nice turn time, nice and maneuverable. Roll rate also isn't terrible. So um, yeah, very nice in there. The performance of the engines is also good. This plane has two powerful engines and um, the acceleration and stuff like that. The performance of the plane is quite nice. Are there any weaknesses to this plane? Well yes of course there are weaknesses as well. The speed in a straight line is definitely an issue and the dive speed is limited as well. That makes this plane not completely suited for boom and zooming and gives it more other styles of flying. The flaps are an issue in uh, many of the bridge planes and also in this one um, 580 I believe it was in this plane, not too great, they can rip on you and she is a big target next to that so you've got to be careful in full profile um, moves you know where, where you are vulnerable because of the big profile. There is also the weakness of the repair cost in this plane, the repair cost is quite high with almost 20,000 silver lions and that might make it a little bit more difficult to make um, a profit with this plane for most people. Flight style in the plane is that she's an energy fighter mainly. Because of that great performance from the engines that is a flight style that suits her very nicely. Uh, vertical maneuvering and stuff like that can be quite nice and just uh, overall energy fighting is very pleasant in this plane. As a turn fighter she can also function against most planes she will be the more maneuverable plane and you know once people start turning with you you usually are in the advantage in the um, night fighter 13 oh yeah is she competitive at the 7.7 .7 battle rating i would say yes i had a great time in it and she felt very uh, steady in my hands um, you know the performance is very um, very stable and you just get a plane that can move between the energy fighting role and the turn fighting role and that is what happens a lot in um, jets. It's mostly straightforward, uh, less in the vertical than with props, mostly in the horizontal and keep the planes fast and you know energy fighting happens a lot and turn fighting you would be surprised how many people would love to turn so yeah there that's where this plane shines 
and uh, yes, he's competitive. Is the fun factor, how is the fun factor in this plane? How high do you value it? I would say high. I had a lot of fun in this plane. Surprised quite a lot of people. She's a big target. People don't expect something from this plane, and uh, but she can still perform. So there is that. How high do you value this plane? Do you recommend it? Um, I highly recommend this plane as a starter plane. There is not much else in rank 5 Israeli as we'll get to. And this meteor is just lovely um, compared to some of the other planes. So um, we'll get into that later, but uh, this plane is definitely highly recommended as your starter plane in the Israeli line. Moving on with the Meteor F8, she sits right here, second plane in the main fighter line in rank 5, 8.0 battle rating, nice looking plane, clipped wing Meteor, I quite like the plane uh, when it comes to that. The steel plates are here as well with the bulletproof glass, so quite nice protection for this pilot. We have the guns here, nicely situated in the nose, centralized firepower, 190 rounds one two and 200 rounds, two different pairings. We've got the fuel tanks in the middle and of course the engine, so quite nice setup. This plane does have some ordnance, eight rockets, um, yeah, quite nice, it gives you the option to do some uh, ground pounding, nice uh, assortment of belts as well that you can choose from. Let's uh, check her out. So we're looking at the Meteor F8 coming as the second plane in rank 5 in the main fighter line. This is a very strong contender in this rank 5 Israeli. It is uh, its main plane, 8.0 battle rating she sits at and um, it is a lovely plane isn't it. She has clipped wings, she has a good performance and this is definitely a plane that is uh, fun to fly in rank 5. Now, what are the strengths in the Meteor F8? Quite a few. She has two good engines and um, with that quite good performance. She just uh, has ni nice acceleration, nice engine power. You can uh, really see that in the plane. The offensive guns are also quite nice. She has uh, four Hispano Mark 5s with uh, quite a decent amount of ammo and um, those guns um, when you get them on target are just uh, quite lovely, quite effective. She's also very maneuverable, especially in the roll rate uh, as Meteors goes because this is a clipped wing Meteor of course making the roll rate better. Turn time slightly less but it's almost not noticeable. This plane is very nice and maneuverable, very cool. The climb rate in this plane is also quite good and uh, she can get you up to altitude definitely in up tiers you might need a little bit of side climbing although in jets of course the altitude is not necessarily the most important speed also is important and with the with the acceleration that this plane has that is also quite there for this plane the weaknesses of course we have weaknesses in this plane yes the speed is a weakness the straight line speed and the dive speed are both on the weaker side um, it is not something that uh, she's very good at you usually get outsped but uh, of course she makes up for that in energy fighting and in turn fighting flaps are an issue in this plane as well she has a 510 kilometers an hour rip speed on those flaps which is quite early for these jets and uh, that can cost you a dogfight or a crash into the ground if you're not careful at certain altitudes slow to the ground fights and stuff like that is uh, risky. Another weakness in this plane is the repair cost. The repair cost is almost 20,000 silver lions and that is definitely on the high side for a plane at 8.0 battle rating so again it's going to be a little bit more difficult to make a profit with this plane but looking at the alternatives you might still want to choose for this line to do the main work for rank 5 um, Israeli. Um, the flight style in this plane is uh, very versatile, very varied. Uh, this plane can do a lot of stuff. She can boom and zoom because of the clipped wings. She's better capable of good control during a dive, which is nice. And she can energy fight, of course, because of that great engines that she has. Good power on this plane. Energy fighting is something she can definitely do. 
turn fighting is very possible in this plane. She's very good at it. She's maneuverable. She has good roll rate. The turn time is there. So this plane has a turn fight in her and she can also close air support with the uh, rockets that you can put on her and with a ground belt uh, she becomes very viable for, um, for that as well. Is she competitive? Yes, the Meteor F8 is definitely competitive at her battle rating, she's quite good there. In up tiers it's a little bit difficult with the speed and stuff like that, but yes, he's competitive. The fun factor in this plane is high, you can have a lot of shenanigans in it, you can mix between roles, which is very nice. And that also makes her highly recommended, I do highly recommend this plane. She's maneuverable, she can switch between boom and zooming, energy fighting, turn fighting, and you can take her into ground battles with those rockets. So this plane is very versatile and yeah, I definitely think it's the best plane in this, uh, in this rank. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely recommend her. We have arrived in the fighter bomber line, the second fighter line, however you want to call it. This is the MD450B Uragan, French plane. Sitting at 7.7 .7 battle rating, coming right after the Mustang here. And um, yeah, 7.7 .7, as I said. She has some nice armor plates, even better than the Meteors, with a good bulletproof glass as well. There's a hole here though, <laughs> don't know why that is, but she has some good guns, four 20mm guns with 125 rounds, a little bit low on the ammo load. This plane is a little bit of a fire piñata though with a lot of um, fuel tanks, yep, and we do have the engine right there in the back. This plane has a lot of options with bombs and rockets and the combinations between those two which is quite nice if you want to go ground pounding in this plane giving you a little bit of versatility there so yeah let's have a look at her uh, we're looking at the MD 450B Uragan is, is, this is a plane that is um, very difficult to fly I don't particularly like this plane it is difficult it has precious little strong points and a lot of downsides that really work against the plane there's still people who like it, but um, let's get into it and let's have you make your own decision here. The strings in this plane, 7.7 .7 battle rating in the uh, secondary fighter line for the Israeli, more or less the uh, ground attacker line, right? The strings in this plane are the turn time, mainly. <coughs> it, it can do uh, some maneuvering. She does have a maneuver fight in her. That is one of the things that she is actually a little bit capable in, but it is not exceptional, so be aware of that. The offensive guns are also okay. You have four 20mm cannons and they can be quite effective. You have don't have that much ammo in it though, so that's, that, that's another thingy there. I wouldn't call it a downside, but still. The weaknesses in this plane are the speed mainly. This is a very slow plane, it's even slower than both of the Meteors, which is um, quite surprising and uh, this is def definitely not good. <laughs> the, I mean the Meteors are known for not being fast and uh, if you get a plane uh, that is even slower, well then you're definitely in trouble. The dive performance is also very shaky. She can rip from 800 kilometers upwards with uh, the wrong pull on the G's and stuff like that, so that is very risky there. Uh, she also compresses above 508, uh, sorry, above 850, which is um, also a problematic. Uh, it can crash you into the ground, so very shaky in a dive, definitely dangerous there. The performance is also not good. She is a little bit underpowered, and she does have quite a bit of overheating, which is uh, also not nice. So you got to manage that a little bit as well. So what is the flight style in this plane? Well, she is not very good she is a jack of no trades as i called it um, she's not really excelling in any of the three main roles so she cannot really boom and zoom because of the problems in a dive rips because of high g's and compression she cannot really energy fight because of the underperforming engine and she is not the greatest turn fighter she can turn fight that's the, that's the best she can do but she's not excelling at it so she's not excelling at anything 
She does have uh, bombs, rockets and some combos, so she can do close air support as well. So there is that. She can be in ground RB, she might be the best off. She can turn a little bit and she has uh, ordnance to throw off. But is this plane competitive in air RB? Uh, no, definitely not. At 7.7 .7, this plane is not competitive. Is there a high fun factor to this plane? No. Uh, the fun factor in this plane for me is low and um, it is definitely not fun with all these problems to fly this plane. Is she recommended? No, I do not recommend this plane. This plane is dangerous to fly. You never feel safe in this plane and it's just not very enjoyable. So overall I cannot recommend this plane to you because of that. There is other better planes to fly in Israeli rank 5. So we're looking at the Vatours, this is the 2N, the bombers in rank 5 Israeli, they sit right here, the 2A 9.0, the 2N also 9.0, they have the same performance, same engine, so I'll just only show you one of them. The armor protection is alright, but it's very thin, you look, it looks like a box, but it's only 3mm, so it's not a lot. Bulletproof glass though, 50mm, looks very good. You have quite a few fuel tanks here running through the main fuselage, uh, can be a little bit uh, problematic when it comes to fires. You have two engines, a lot of thrust in them, so that is nice. And you have the fantastic 30mm DEFA 552 cannons, lovely cannons here and uh, they do a good job. They both have missiles, they both have a lot of bomb and rocket options, they just have different setups because they're later versions. So the bomb setups vary a little bit, they do both have the same guns and the same missiles. So that is that, let's have a look at them. Here we go with the Voitures, the 2A and the 2N, 9.0 battle rating in the Israeli line and they are a shambles at this battle rating, these planes have problems. They're the only two bombers in the Israeli line and it's, it's gonna be difficult, it's gonna be painful to fly these things and I'll explain to you why. Are there actually strings in these planes at 9.0? Yes, there are. The offensive guns are uh, definitely good. Um, it has four of them, uh, the DEFA 551s, 30mm cannons with 100 rounds per gun. Those guns are amazing, I love those guns. They're fantastic, so there is that. There is frontal facing firepower that you have. You have bomb loads. Bomb loads are a definite strength to this plane as well. Very nice bomb loads, uh, good widespread in there and combination. So yeah, the, and even has missiles as well. So that is very nice. The speed is also quite decent in this plane. So there is a strength there as well. Uh, the performance, she has two very strong engines, which is, gives her a lot of uh, trust which is nice, it gives her also a very nice climb rate, which is also a strength in this plane. So this plane does have its strengths, but uh, there are more problems with this plane that uh, really uh, make this uh, strength uh, pale. The weaknesses in this plane are the compression. This plane is a highly compressing plane at high speeds. The faster you go, the more it compresses. And it is already uh, dealing with a weak elevator control anyway, so it's not very good in the uh, turn time, it's very bad there, um, so yeah, with that compression makes it even worse as you saw in the first clip. The high G wing rips are terrible in this plane, when you pull 7 G's and you already pull that quite quickly, you can rip the wing off very early on already, so uh, a few seconds in the wrong angle with a 7 G high wing load and you're, you're off, you're done. Maneuverability in this plane is absolutely terrible, uh, so that is that is a very very big downside, and there is no bomb sight on this bomber, so you're gonna have to do it manually, and that is not easy in jets. I, uh, if you don't do it a lot, it is very difficult to get the bombs on target in this plane, so be aware of that. What is the actual flight style in this plane? Can it be made to work? Well, it can do close air support. I think in ground RB, cl as a close air support, it can do a definite job. In air RB, my best results came from the, the support fighter role. It is not really a good base bomber. It is not really a good column attacker, although I would prefer column attacking compared to base bombing in this plane. But um, it, it has four uh, 10G loading uh, missiles. 
and not the greatest missiles, but uh, when people are busy, you can actually, actually make those missiles work. And the guns are fantastic, so you can also make the guns work very nicely as well. So I would definitely recommend you the support fighter role if you are set, if you are, if you really want to do some vatouring. <laughs> is the plane competitive though? No, not at all. This plane is not competitive. It just has too many downsides. What is the fun factor in this plane? It is low, absolutely low. It is a terrible plane and uh, not a lot of fun. You're dealing with a lot of shit in this plane. Do I recommend this plane? How high do you value her? I have a low recommendation for this plane. I would advise you to stay away. There's a lot of pains in the voitures and you just don't want to deal with that really, do you? Hey guys, you have reached the guide and tip section in this video in which I will give you my analysis of rank 5. Before we begin though, if you have enjoyed this video at any point, if you got some value from it, do like the video, leave me your comments. This engagement really pushes the channel in the search results and really helps me out. If you are not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We have a lot of great content and do smash that subscribe button. Just become part of this community and don't miss anything. Click the notification bell to make sure that you don't miss anything I release. Now let's get into this rank 5. We have three lines, the main fighter line, the multi-roll line and the bomber line. We have the Meteor and the Meteor F8, this is the Night Fighter, the Uragan and the two Vatours. Let's start off with the fighter pilot perspective. If you are a fighter pilot mainly, then this is very straightforward. You go uh, to the Meteor, start with this. The Night Fighter is a great plane, it's quite maneuverable. It will do a job, it has good guns and um, it has great engines, it's good performance. So this plane you start off with, you unlock the F8 and you continue with that. The clipped wing meteor is a joy to fly, it is maneuverable, it is quite capable of all the roles, it's very versatile in the fighter role. And uh, yeah, she can even do some close uh, air support with the rockets. So meteor, meteor done for the fighter line. Definitely the Uragon is not an option when it comes to fi uh, fighter um, role, the fighter role. These two planes are superior to this one. If you want to go bombing though, it's another matter. If you're a bomber pilot, you have the options of four planes. The Meteor does have rockets, but we can scratch that out of the equation. It's really a main fighter role that the Uragan is a very interesting plane. It has a 7.7 .7 battle rating, it can turn fight and it has a lot of bomb options that you can definitely use in ground RB. It also has the 20mm cannons, it can go into maneuvering which also happens low altitude dogfights in ground RB. So there is uh, definitely a role there, definitely a role there for the um, Uragan. You have the Vatours to set that off at 9.0 battle rating. They have a lot of options, they have missiles as well, but they have a damn high battle rating. And they have some terrible downsides that I explained to you, but the Uragan also has those downsides um, in the plane. There is more to say for the Uragan though. With these battle ratings, 9.0, it's just not really great, is it? These planes will be up to a lot to 9.7 you'll be facing a lot of 10.0 matches as well and uh, that's just painful in the Vatour. it's also painful at its own battle rating in down tiers it becomes a little less uh, painful i personally found it more suiting in the support fighter role coming from the fringes using those four missiles and the great guns the plane has it has worked best for me in that way so i would not choose this if you have to go into ground RB with a plane in rank 5 Israeli, I would choose the Uragan for the battle rating. And uh, if, if you're flying higher planes, maybe you can go for the Vatours, but I would, I would choose for the Uragan. Now, are any of these planes worthy of a Talisman? I would say only the Meteor F8. And really, if you don't fly any Air RB at all, you might want to consider the Uragan or just leave it. You know, it's not a big line. You'll go through them reasonably fast and um, yeah, there is no premium planes in this rank of course. So you just, you're, you're down to talismans or just straight up flying 
with the regular planes without any improvements on them. Uh, as I said, fighter pilots, meteor, meteor, and you're done. And for ground attacking, the Uragon would be best suited, in my opinion. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some value and will take you to the tree a lot faster. Hope you enjoyed the video. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.